Kubernetes users can deploy containers coming from any container registry. This could be a major security issue because we cannot trust all the registries and all the images hosted on those registries. So we need a way to whitelist those allowed registries. So there is mainly two solutions to do this. Either we can set up a firewall resource in our cloud environment and then we can allow for the allowed and disallowed IP addresses that can connect to our cluster. And a second solution, which would be much more simpler for this use case, is to use OPA, Open Policy Agent Gatekeeper for Kubernetes. With OPA, we can create policies and we, those policies will use the admission controller in order to validate some deployments. So we'll use this OPA to allow for deploying containers coming from only a predefined list of registries. So let's see how that works. So here I want to start with a repository for OPA Gatekeeper, which is an open source project that allows you to create policies that works on Kubernetes. And they have created some videos about this tool. So you can find it in this playlist here where I have more videos about uh, some other tools that works with uh, Kubernetes. And then for this demo, I show you here, we'll be using those uh, files actually to do, to work with this uh, uh, demo. So what I have started doing first is that I have installed OPA in my Kubernetes cluster. Here I have created those templates. I have already those files in my VS code in my local machine. So I have those three files. Let's start with the first file here which will define the constraint template. This is a CRD that was deployed with the OPI Gatekeeper uh, into our Kubernetes cluster. So with this constraint template, we'll go to create, let's say a policy. That policy will accept a parameter called repo. This is gonna be our list of repositories. Then we'll take here the targets. This is the uh, definition for our policies. So this will use the Rego, um, language that we can define policies. And here we have mainly two policies. One policy that will be applied to the containers and the second one to the init containers. And both works the same. So for the containers, for example, we'll take here, we'll watch for the input parameters dot repo. Here we are checking if the image full path or contains already one of our whitelisted repositories because that image full path typically it would contain it would start with the image repositories then the name of the image and the tag note also that because here we are using the starts with operator operator in uh, uh, rego we can use this also to not only whitelist repositories but to also whitelist images then the admission controller will go to accept uh, that and it will go to deploy the container. If that's not the case, then it will be rejected and here we'll display a message, a runner or message. This container has an invalid, invalid image uh, repo, a load repo R, and then we'll display the one that were a load, which are coming from our repo uh, parameter. So this now, this is the template that we want to create. Now for this repo parameters, so this will uh, contain the list of the whitelisted repositories. And that is defined in another Kubernetes resource here, call it Kubernetes allowed repo, because I have called it this policy Kubernetes allowed repo. So it will take the same name. And then here we can apply this policy to the specified API groups, with a specified namespace. So here I want to apply that to my default namespace for this demo. And then I'll pass here the parameters, which are gonna be the repo, which are the list of my allowed uh, repositories. So here I'll take, I'll allow this uh, uh, Azure Container Register rep uh, repository. And I'll show you here a demo where I have an image that is deployed in Azure container registry. So I pass here to my app deploy, where here I want to use that repository to deploy this web app image. So I'll go now to deploy those resources. Let's create a new, ta new um, terminal. And here I start. So here I'm already logged into my Kubernetes cluster. So if I type kube control get, um, get nodes, 
I'll get my AKS3 nodes here. So let's start first by deploying the constraint template. So I'll use cube control apply dash f then the name of that template. I've named it a lowered registries template. Once that's deployed, now I'll go to deploy the second uh, template that contains here the load repo cube control apply dash f and then the name of that file load registries dot yaml great now let's move to deploying the pod that will deploy a container from my load uh, acr so for that i'll use cube control apply dash f then my app deploy dot yaml Yes, here it tells me the deployment was created, so I can check that. So if I run kube control get deploy, I will get the deployment that I wanted to create, app deploy, and here, yes, I get three containers already running inside that uh, uh, deployment. Now let's go to try to deploy a container that exists in a repository that is not allowed by this policy. So to do that, I'll go here to the app deploy and I'll go to change this repo load repository to use a container coming from Docker Hub, for example. So for that, I'll go to use here, let's try with Nginx, for example. So Nginx, again, is not, or Docker Hub is not one of my load repositories here because I only allow for uh, this repo coming from uh, ACR. So here I'll go first to delete my existing deployment. For that I'll use you go use cube control delete dash f the app deployment. And then I'll go to apply it again. So I'll create that deployment again. And now if I try to get the different deployments, here it tells me that there is no container deployed into that uh, deployment. Now, if I try to understand why is that here, I'll go to use the command cube control get a deploy, get deployment, and then I'll output that as YAML file to show me all the fields in that deployment. So here I get in the uh, status conditions a message telling me here admission webhook validation gatekeeper denied the request a load registries it have denied the container front end because it have an invalid image repo that is called nginx a load repositories are the one that only i have provided in my template here i whitelisted the registry used only by my own applications but i need also to whitelist the registries used by other kubernetes applications those are could be the system containers used for the external dns the uh, metrics server used for the uh, logging and monitoring so i need to view all the containers used within my within my cluster and then i need to whitelist those not in this uh, sample here i have uh, whitelisted also containers coming from a Google container registry and from MCR Microsoft container registry and also without forgetting Docker Hub if you are using some images coming from uh, from that registry and of course we should not forget about open policy agent which is the repository that is uh, from which um, open policy will retrieve its container so this policy will be applied to the new deployments or the new pods it will not be applied to the already running pods in your cluster because this will use the admission controller which will intercept that request for creating or updating uh, the um, uh, the new pods i hope it was simple and clear thank you